Good morning, it's Christine from Periwinkle Planner Co. And today I have something amazing to show you. Um, have you ever received an Erin Condren life planner and wished it was smaller? Wished you could customize it? Wished you could take pages in and out? Um, make it your own? Well, I've come up with a solution. Okay, so I started with the life planner, which I have a video. I'll have linked bef below of the flip through of the vertical planner um, in blooms. And um, I took the coil off. So I did that in the process. There's so many videos out there on how to do it. So I'm just gonna link some slides of pictures and what I did. And I was going to put it on a smaller coil because I wanted to put um, July through December and then January through June and then the next July through December and separate coils to make the planner smaller. I bought the 18 month planner and I wanted something, you know, more like this size. Well, I snipped the coil, took it off, and then I went to put on a smaller coil and realized the coil that I had that I thought I was gonna use was too short. So I thought, hmm, what do I do? Well, I had purchased these. I'll put a picture right here. Um, I guess they're called binder. Oh, I don't even know what they're called. I'll, I'll put that on the screen too. Um, when I was doing the ring planning because it was a way to store my extra rings pages. Well, then I found out that you could actually use these with the coil punches too. So if you take one, two, three, four, five of these, it fills up the whole amount of the holes. It skips two holes, but it does not affect this at all. The, coil, the covers, you can pop on, pop off, change them just like you can in your coil planner. You can still fold it back on itself to use. Um, sometimes you have to adjust, to me doing that, it messed it up, but you can do it. I'll show you when I get more in the planner. If you just move these a certain way, it's easier to do that and to get them back around. There, there, see, it does work. <laughs> if you open up the planner halfway through, you can do it just like you were using a coil planner. But the fun thing is, let me just get this back to the beginning. The fun thing is you can also open these up. Let me get to the middle where it's easier. These open just like a ring planner and you can stick pages in or you can take pages out, whichever you wanna do. And then you just clip them back together and it's on your way to go. So I plan on adding more um, notes pages in mine and maybe some other fun things, which will be more videos to come up. But I just wanted to show you this quick, do a little flip through what I did, have my cover. Um, I still have my swatch in here. I left this really, oh, you know what? I didn't do that. I did something a little different. I took November from 2025 and it's the same date as June of 2024. So I just took it and cut the tab off so it didn't say November. And then I'm going to change this, that little part, and I have June, so I can start planning a month earlier. So I have that in here, the dashboard, which I will change that, put a sticker over it. And then I have, of course, the snaps right in here too, just like the coil planner. And then the calendar won't be good. Well, I shouldn't say that. Actually, just this part of the calendar won't be good but everything else is the same dates. The holidays would be off because obviously it's not Halloween in June. I'm wondering why, oh, you know why? Because this would actually be May. That's why there's a 31st, then June starts. So this isn't right. The daylight savings isn't right for June, but it's just taking the little bit of that off and changing this, which is simple. So I have the weeks in here and I put this in here, even though I'm planning in a different planner for June, because I kind of wanted to try this layout before July, before the actual planner starts, just to get in my rhythm, to know what I like and what I don't like. So this is kind of like my, my practice before the actual planner. So that is in here, and then it starts out with the vellum and the title page and this pretty spread, the calendars, the 12 boxes, and then it goes into July. And I did also stick this in here to show you that those snap in just fine too. Just like the coil planner. 
The ones that go in between here, you have to do a little bit of pushing, but nothing different in the regular coil distance there anyway. So, so then it starts July. So then I have August in here. See, and I still have already have plans. That's why I wanted to get using this. <laughs> and then we have September, more plans. October, November, and December. And then I stuck the note section in here so that I had those notes. But I'm also, like I said, gonna add more pages, which I can do just simply by opening this up. And I can add priority pages in here. I can add um, dot grid pages in here. I can add sketch paper, anything I want, I can add in here. So then it's got the calendar for 2026. Um, I probably wouldn't have needed to put this in here because <laughs> that's like really far ahead. We're not even in 2025 yet. But I just stuck these in here. But again, since I just said I don't really need this in here, I can go like this. I'll show you once, okay? It does take a little bit of time because there's how many of these? Three. Got to get them. When it's not in the middle, it's a little bit harder too. Look at these. I just painted my nails too. I don't want to <laughs> mess them up. This one's being stubborn. There we go. Um... I'll count them in a second. You just gotta kind of push on them. Sometimes the newer ones, because I've had these before, the newer ones are a little bit harder to hook and unhook for the first couple of times. And it might actually work better to do it like this. You just gotta kind of get this turned and it will. This one's being, there we go. Let me see here, those two are a little stubborn. There we go. They're coming. Just have to be used a little bit. And like I said, I'm probably nicking up my nails. Oh, ooh, that hurt. I heard a crack on that one. That's not good. <laughs> That's not good at all. Okay, I'm trying. One more left. One more left. Maybe if I open that one a little wider, then I can get to this one. There we go. Okay, so then I'll open this back up to where it should be. Where's the other cover? Right there. Not good to fresh paint your nails when you're, oh, look what I did. <laughs> when you're going to be doing this. Oh, goodness, I wrecked it all. All right, like I said, I want to take this out because I don't need this. So then you just carefully take this out and hook it from all these. So if you just have a little time, you can get it to work the way you want. A little patience. And don't do a fresh manicure right before you do this. And then hooking them back up is way easier. I just kind of go into a little groove here. That one must be like really new. It's super stiff. I don't know if I'm going to list these in my shop or just give you links to where you can buy them. I'm just going to go look and see what kind of quantities you have to buy. Yeah. Okay. So there we go. All back together. Oh, I didn't tell you. Let's see. Let's see what else I put in the end. Oh, I forgot. Stickers. Stickers. Yep. And then the folder, of course, fits too. And then the perpetual calendar and the back cover. So it's just basically like a miniature version of the life planner. And you just, what did I say? You need one, two, three, four, five of these. And they're one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, fifteen rings. Fun, easy, lots of possibilities. So like and subscribe. And if you hit that little bell notification that's under subscription, it will let you know when more of my videos pop up. And in those videos, I will be showing you how I'm using this, what pages I'm adding. I'm sure there'll be another update prior to July starting because I want to add some more pages and show you uh, how I plan on using it. So until next time, bye-bye. Thanks for watching. 
If you liked the video, make sure to hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to be notified every single time that we upload. Bye. We'll see you in the next one.